really cool to see how a community agency provides services um, with a cultural component to it, especially that it's providing a cultural component in a community where there are lots of people of that community, of that culture. Skills that I feel like I've gained here at SIPA have been being able to complete assessments, not just with adults, but for children as well. I've also been really able to develop uh, group facilitation skills, um, working with folks in grief and loss um, through challenging and through heavy emotional times. So I feel like I'm getting a lot of experience and becoming a little bit more well-rounded uh, as I enter the field of mental health. I really like trying to get out of my comfort zone and trying to get into like play or art therapy. I'm not really an artist, but if it comes down to you know making our own Pokemon, drawing our own Hello Kitty characters, and ascribing like traits and personality things that we would like to see or things that we'd like to change in ourselves or to improve on, I think art therapy and play therapy are great ways for children and teens to retain their autonomy. What I personally have been surprised by doing this whole process is maybe myself and another co-facilitator may just have you know, a fairly short prompt. As long as we create like a safe and trusting space, the group just takes on a life of its own and they're able to support each other um, with little or to know, you know further guidance from us. Um, so as long as we're just creating a space that's welcoming and open, and validating, that's probably the most important thing. Thanks, Marcel. If you're interested in sharing your own mental health journey as a Filipino American, check out this SEPA support group in collaboration with AAPI Equity Alliance. Join SEPA as we unpack the impact of racial trauma and learn ways to heal from anti-Asian hate. See the link on screen to register today.